Hello, and welcome back to The Block. Thank you once again for joining me in this space, no matter where you are. Again, coming together from wherever we find ourselves. The Block is a place for us to talk about our relationships with God. This means being honest with each other and asking some of the hard questions. And this week, we're going through the shoulds of our faith or, or the things that we feel as though we should do. It doesn't always mean that that is actually what we should be doing, nor does it mean that's how our relationship with God works. So, our previous video we talked about reading the scripture and the shoulds behind that. You know, should I be reading 10 chapters a day or, or, or what makes sense for me? Now today we're going to be talking about another area that honestly I've struggled with for a while. I think I've openly struggled with it, you know, in the last five years and I talk to people about it all the time who feel very much the same. Now it's prayer. It seems easy enough. It seems like something that we should easily do every day. And now I do think that this is something very important in the Bible. It says to pray without ceasing. And what that means is, at least in my understanding of it, is to go through our day and just communicate with God. It doesn't mean that we have to have anything specific or long-winded to say. And we're going to talk about that today. So, there is points in my life when I have had no idea what to pray for. Whether that's in a time of, of struggle and difficulty, a time of when I felt very far away from God, or, or just truthfully a time when I was like, I got nothing. I just got nothing to give, nothing to say. And I felt guilty because of that. I felt shameful because it didn't seem like I was doing this whole relationship with him well enough. Now I've learned over the years that that is not at all the case. And, and I want to share that with you today. Your prayers do not have to be long-winded. They can be short and, and they can be a few words. They just have to come from you. They have to be the truth. They have to be honest and vulnerable and directed at God. He knows our heart. He knows our spirit. He knows our struggles. He wants us to share those with him, no matter if that's a hundred words or, or five words. In my understanding of this, as, as I've gone on and as I've learned more and more about prayer, I've learned two really important things. If I have nothing else to pray, oftentimes what I do is I just give thanks. There's certainly always, always times where it seems like there's times when I can find things that I am thankful for. And truthfully, sometimes those things are outside of my own life. My life can seem very difficult and hard and, and you know, I can get in my own head and it's like, God, I got nothing to even give thanks for in my own life, but I know that there's things out there that I am grateful for. That can be a sunny day, that can be a friend, that can be a good meal, whatever it is. So sometimes if I have nothing else to pray for and, and just feel empty emotionally or just don't even want to talk or think, I give thanks. Oftentimes that allows me to step into a perspective of gratitude and allows me to to go from a, a bad attitude or a attitude, as I like to call it to a gladitude, an attitude of gladness or, or gratitude and that helps. The other thing when I'm praying and, and sometimes it's it's very short again and, and you know I feel like I'm supposed to have all these sentences put together and I'm supposed to have a beautiful way and a poetic way of speaking and that just is not going to happen. Any of you who have been to camp and, and heard me pray on stage, it doesn't always happen that way and sometimes it's very awkward and I will admit that. But I think the other thing that we can do is just humble ourselves. So gratitude and humility. I think humility is, is honestly just saying, God, I don't know what to pray for. I often talk about the power of those words, I don't know. I think that invites someone into a relationship with you very quickly and, and honestly, it's a very honest and true answer. And so if you're struggling to, to pray for anything, just say, God, I don't know. I got nothing. You know what? God knows your heart, he knows your spirit, and he knows what you're struggling with. And if you can't put that into words, that's okay. 
but it's you reaching out to God and knowing that he is bigger than that. You're humbling yourself before him and allowing him to speak into that place. I'm going to share some scripture with you today. <clears throat> Reminds me of this often. This is found in Romans 8, 26. That's Romans 8, 26. And it says this, Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. So the Holy Spirit, God and Jesus, the Trinity, are all one. They are all God. What this is talking about is the Spirit then speaks when we cannot. It puts words to the words that we don't have. God fills us with the Holy Spirit and that allows us to communicate the deepness and the groanings of our heart. It is a true place that we can find solitude and, and it is a place where we don't need words. The Holy Spirit can, can do that for us. So when we don't know what to pray, the Holy Spirit's there. It understands us and it communicates those things that we cannot communicate. We're gonna end again in prayer today, but I have one quick challenge for you as we go throughout the week. Something that's really helped me in my prayer life is just to journal it. So whether you're a lengthy journal person or, or a few short words, just write down what you're praying for. That will allow you to just log what you've prayed for and go back over time and see where God has answered your prayers and where he is leading you. It's a great way to, to stay in touch with him and understand how you're doing in your prayer life. With that, we'll end this block session in prayer. Five, four, three, two, one, pray. Dear Lord, I thank you so much that when we have nothing to give God, you are still there ready to receive. That you know even more than we do of ourselves. You know our, our trials, our tribulations, our joys, our, our faith journey, you know it all. And God, when we cannot put those things, those emotions, those feelings, those thoughts into words, you were there for that. God, I give you gratitude for the day, for the beauty, for the weather. And God, I humble myself before you. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Thank you guys once again for joining me here on the block. I cannot wait to continue this adventure with you. Please, if you have any questions, don't fear to reach out. Shoot me an email. Comment below this video. Whatever works best for you. Take care.